As you can probably already tell, this video is gonna be all about making smooth zoom animations in Premiere Pro. And as a little bonus, I'll also show you how to create the continuously looping zoom that we just saw a moment ago as well. Okay, so to start, as usual, let's create an adjustment layer and apply a transform effect. While we could apply the effect directly to the video, I would recommend using an adjustment layer for more flexibility. Now let's add keyframes for scale and position by clicking these small stopwatch icons and then move forward and add another set of keyframes. But this time let's increase the scale and adjust the position to zoom into the area that we want. And just like that, we already have a very basic zoom in animation, but for now it's just boring. To make it smoother, let's increase the shutter angle to 360 for motion blur and then ease all the keyframes in and out. Now select the position keyframes and drag the right handle to the left and then do the same for the scale keyframes as well. Just make sure that the mouse does not move vertically because with scale adjustments, the line can shift up and down, which can be very annoying. So yeah, and there you go, a smooth zoom in animation. Now to zoom out, move forward, reset the position and scale, and then ease those new keyframes in. This time though, adjust the graph in the opposite direction like this. And that looks pretty good to me. Before we continue with the tutorial, if you'd like to save some time, I have created a preset pack that includes smooth zooms in every direction for both ease in and ease out animations alongside with many other useful presets as well. I use a slightly different method where I add two adjustment layers and then apply a zoom in preset on the first one and a zoom out preset on the second one. This way I can achieve the same zoom animations in literally seconds. The link will be in the description. Alright, now for the continuously looping zoom effect, let's add one more adjustment layer, about a second long, and then once again set the shutter angle to 360. And also add two scale keyframes going from 100 to around 150 or so. This time I'll use Bezier keyframes for more control. Now let's extend the scale window so we can see better what's going on and then set this first number 250 because we made the second scale value of 150 and the uh, second one 200 because we started from 100. It's a bit weird, I know, but stick with me. Now let's drag the first keyframe handle upwards and the second one downwards until we get a nice smooth curve that both starts and ends fast, something like this. Once that's done, let's duplicate this adjustment layer across all the remaining clips and now we have a continuously looping zoom in animation. To make it look even more polished, I'll add one more adjustment layer on top of every clip and apply some of my color correction presets. I will also throw in a looping flicker, a black vignette and as a final touch I'll also add an impact shake and a subtle impact shake to these two clips. And then maybe some flash transitions as well, because why not? Now let's render it out and here is the result. Looks very clean in my opinion. By the way, you can also create a looping zoom out animation as well. Just reverse the scale keyframes from 150 to 100 and then just copy my graph. And here is what we got. I would say it looks equally as good. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. Make sure to let me know in the comments what you would like to learn next and I'll see you guys very very soon. Bye.